Car Share's How To Series. Today, we are going to walk through the operation of the Ferrari 488. On the key fob, push the bottom left button to open the front trunk. Then, slide the lever at the center of the hood to release the latch. To close, firmly push the front center of the hood. If for any reason you need to open the engine, there is a pull lever on the floor on the driver's left side. Located on the inside of the driver's side door is the front trunk button and the gas door release button. Only use 91 octane gasoline. When entering the vehicle, place the key fob in the designated position in the center console. To start the car, place your foot on the brake and press the start stop button twice. To place the vehicle in drive, press the right paddle on the back of the steering wheel. Pull on both paddles to put the car in neutral. Turning off the car puts it in park. The turn signals are on the center of the steering wheel. On the steering wheel's right side, you can also find the wipers. Drive mode controls can be found on the steering wheel as well. Headlight controls are placed at the left-hand side of the steering column. They typically can run automatically, but there is the option to manually adjust. Climate control functions can be found in the center console with separate controls for the driver's side and passenger side. You can find window controls below the transmission settings in the center console. This is also the location for raising and lowering the top. Before you lower or raise the top, make sure the car is parked and let it complete its process cycle in full before you start your journey. You can adjust the side mirror with the controls on the driver's side door panel. Simply turn the dial. Hazard lights are in the center of the vehicle along with the transmission settings. Here we have a PS button which allows for quick acceleration, an auto drive function, and a reverse option. To the right of the steering wheel on the center dash is the car camera selector. Push to cycle through camera options. On the ceiling above the rear view mirror are the reading lights and the door lock and unlock button. Also, here is the button to turn off parking sensors. On the dash to the left of the steering wheel is a cluster of buttons. They include turbo, which enables better efficiency and performance, VDA or vehicle dynamic assistance, and a back button. You can also find an odometer directional and select button and a pit selector switch for cruise control settings. To pair your phone via Bluetooth, use the buttons to the right of the steering wheel and below the air vents on the dash. The main button, option view button, back button, and rotation and push selection knob allow you to navigate menu options. The front dash screen behind the steering wheel have your fuel gauge, odometer, and your menu screens. You can access the radio functions here and play music with standard radio, XM radio, or through a phone app via Bluetooth. It's good to note that the Ferrari 48 does not have hydraulic lift. When unsure of curb clearance, drive at an angle as to not damage the undercarriage. If you have any further questions about the Ferrari, contact your host or live chat with our 24-7 concierge for more information about the operation of the vehicle. Thank you for using CarShare to elevate your next adventure.